So today we are going to see an interesting case with templates. So I just want you to go through this particular piece of code. And what I have done is I have created an instance of processor class which is nothing but uh, two public APIs called process item one and process item two, which is taking uh, one argument each, and uh, the one argument type is the item type item one and item two. That is the processor class. And if you go to this, and it, it has two item classes, and if you go to the item classes, item one and item two is just empty classes. And if you go next, then I am creating an item one processor class which is nothing but it takes a template argument of type item 1 and we are passing is the item is of item type 1 item 1 and we are passing the processor object and the actual item 1 we are passing similarly it is same for item 2 as well and at the end we are calling process item on each of the item processor so just let me know in the comment box below if this particular piece of code gives any compilation error or not whether this will compile perfectly fine or not if you go if you want to go through the item processor class this is the item processor class which it receives in the constructor and it just checks if it is item 1 and call process item 1 passing in the item and otherwise call the process item 2 so just uh, functionality wise it looks fine right just let me know in the comment box below if this piece of code throw any compilation error or not if uh, also, if you feel that this particular piece of code will throw any compilation error, just let me know in the comment box below what is the reason for that. So if you are done, let's try to compile this particular piece of code and try to see what actually happens. Yeah, as you can see the compilation failed and if you go to the output window with this particular uh, with this particular error text, you can see that this particular error can uh, the code got compiled with item type 2 and in that case uh, the item will be item type 2 and we are calling process item 1 api and it expects item 1 type but we are passing item 2 type that's the reason for this failure so why in the first place this particular error came it's simply because of the resolution so when how this particular code will get resolved this particular piece of code will get resolved during the runtime because we are doing an if check if condition check which is taking in a boolean variable so this particular condition check will get evaluated during the runtime of the particular piece of code when we call process item then only this particular if condition will be evaluated before that during the compilation phase what happens is the this particular piece of code will get converted into an object code and you know the whole story it get converted into object code and get converted into uh, this byte byte array or machine code it gets converted to and when that happens uh, the entire this particular piece of block will get converted during the compilation phase because during the compilation phase we don't know yet what this particular value of this particular variable is we don't know during the compilation phase only during the runtime we will get to know the value of it so because of that what happens is the process item both the versions of process item 1 and process item 2 will be in the translated code or in the native code which it gets compiled to and when it tries to uh, match this particular link this particular api find this particular api uh, with a particular template type it will not find because we have strictly defined the type of this particular process item one api so that is the reason for this failure so the only way out is one of the way out is we have to convert this if block to get evaluated during the compilation phase itself so how can we do that how can we even change this evaluation to the compilation time so we can change this evaluation to the compilation time by using this const expr expression and th there is no need of this boolean variable in the first place you can use std 
is same API is there. Therefore, this actually is used to check the template type. So here you can check the item type. Item type you can pass and you just compare if it is item 1. If you do this much, then this particular expression gets evaluated during the comparison phase itself. And what that helps is in the translated code, if the template type is item 1 only this particular statement will be present only this highlighted statement will be present in the translated code otherwise if it is item 2 only this particular statement will be present not both not both these statements will not be present at any point in time so that's the advantage of evaluating this particular if condition during the compilation time so we have changed this particular piece of code and let, let's try to do a recompilation. Now ideally it should pass. So let's see what happens now. It's taking so much time since debug mode. Yeah, it got compiled successfully. So this is the reason. So this is how we can resolve it during the compilation phase itself. So that's what I wanted to cover in this video. If you have learned something new, please do support this channel by pressing the like button and subscribing to this particular channel and do share this video with your friends and in your friends group. Thank you.